everyone and welcome back to my channel so how you guys doing i know the lighting is looking like bomb right now your girl got herself a ring light can i get an amen can i get an amen <laughs> So, like the title suggests, I'm going to be doing a story time video for you guys. And today's story time will be about the time that my racist college roommate got me kicked out of my room. As you guys may or may not be aware, I am in college and I'm nearly done college, getting to my last lap. I just gotta run this race, run this race, Jesus. I am nearly done school, I can't wait. No more profs, no more assignments no more 50% exams I mean you know the struggle but I'm gonna take you guys back to my first year when this racist roommate of mine got me kicked out of my own room she got me kicked out of my own room so I just finished um, pre-university and I was going to college and if you guys know I go to McMaster University in Ontario Canada shout out Marauders I see you so basically I was in my first year and obviously your first year most people stay in the residences right so I stayed in the residences in my first year and before that you actually know like you see the list of people that are your roommates and stuff like that so you can actually know who your roommate is before like you guys go to the residences I mean there's Facebook there's Twitter there's social media so people actually knew you know who their roommate was so I took it upon myself to find out who my roommate like was right and I realized that if she was this white girl and obviously I don't care if she was white or not like I'm not obviously I don't discriminate I it was really cool I was like oh my god and stuff like that I can't believe it oh my god oh my god I'm so excited university so I added her up on Facebook and we started talking and she's like oh my god I, we, I added her up July and we're meant to go to school September so I added her up and we started talking and she would show me like what she's buying for the room and she's like oh my god I'm getting like zebra print and I'm like oh my god I'm getting like leopard print and stuff like that and you know we're talking about how we're gonna design the room and like trying to get to know each other know like how compatible we were and stuff like that and everything was going cool and smooth I mean like we're just happy I was like oh my god my first year is probably gonna be so interesting I'm probably gonna like take pictures on Instagram and all that kind of stuff my welcome week will be so like turned and stuff you know that's that was the vibe I was getting from her like she was so cool so chill and stuff like that so September rolls around and we get to school and even on the day when we're moving in my dad and my family they were all here with me so they came from Nigeria to like take me to school and you know bid me farewell to the new world and all of that so they met with them and they actually took pictures with them you know met with their family and stuff like that it was really like nice i mean not even like most roommates don't do all this deep stuff you know what i mean like it was just really cool and stuff like that so there was no vibe there was no like you know racist vibe or anything from the from the beginning like, there was no vibe like that it was like we were becoming like best friends so we start the school year and all of that this girl was really she really had my back and a lot of stuff like one time I was broke and I wanted to go see my parents before they traveled back to Nigeria to, and they were meant to give me money before they left so I actually asked her for money like for the fare and she actually gave me the money and stuff like she was like oh my god don't worry I know like you're broke and stuff don't worry just have it like say bye to your parents bye bye blah 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 and I and you know it was really cool and stuff like that but then in the middle of the semester things started changing I when I bring my friends over she always felt like really you know scared and stuff like that and obviously my friends were like black so it was really confusing I was like sometimes she just she just come and tell me she's like Zara can you tell your friends to go and I'm like but okay like you know just wanted to respect the roommate pact you know what I mean and we had to sign like a roommate agreement like you guys have to be there and sign it and we never signed it like we're, like our CA will always tell us oh come sign it come sign it but then we never signed it and CA is community advisor in the residences so we never really signed it and that pact was actually meant to regulate like visitors and how we see each other and like respect each other's privacy and all that but we never signed it um so she will like tell me oh my friends why are my friends there because I was friends with all the guys on as well as girls but they never stayed over no guy stayed over but she had her boyfriend come over to the house sleep over and stuff like that but I was like you know girl code I see you you do what you gotta do I'll stay out of your way and blah 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 and I thought everything was cool you know I thought we were like 
we're interacting then all of a sudden she starts like acting really strange around me first was the bringing friends over thing and then she just started like she would leave the room for a long time and then when she comes back she starts checking her stuff and i'm like like she will actually like make a show of checking her stuff and i'm like what do you think i stole it i've been living with you for like how many weeks now if i wanted to steal something i would have stolen it like so it was like maybe she was trying to see the friends i was bringing over like the guys i was bringing over and stuff like that they might have stolen her stuff whatever like she would go to school and have all her stuff like her laptop and everything with her and i'm like okay whatever like do you boo boo i didn't even care anymore then one day my friend came to see me and she 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 also stays where i stay but she just wanted to come see me so I left to go for a class and she was in the room and she was sleeping. So I didn't know that my roommate's mom wanted to come surprise her. And the mom came into the room and she saw my friend sleeping on the bed and she told she woke my friend up and told her to leave. She woke my friend up and told her to leave. Like she actually said, "Leave this room right now." You're another person that lives here, so leave the room. And I was like, hold up, you don't live here either, so how come you get to stay and my guest has to leave? Like, I, your daughter wasn't there as well, so like, what is it, how can a stranger come into my room and tell my guest on my bed to leave? Like, I was, I was so confused, I was like, wait, hold up, what's going on? So, my friend texts me like, Zara, this lady comes into the room and tells me to leave, is that your roommate? I'm like, what? My roommate is freaking like my age me like she's young like me so like how can a lady just come tell you to leave she's like well the woman told me to leave that i don't stay in the room so i went to the common area and i'm like okay what's going on here i text my roommate and she's like oh yeah her mom's there and her mom just told her that she saw this girl on my bed and she told her to leave i'm like what right does your mom have to tell my guest to leave i told you i told my roommate beforehand that this girl is going to be here when i go to class and come back because she just wanted to see me and she was tired and she was sleeping i let her know the person that's my roommate I let her know so I didn't understand where this was coming from she's like yeah well I'm sorry um, yeah she wasn't meant to be there I'm like okay you know what we're gonna have to talk about this and I come back and we talk about it and she's like oh yeah I'm sorry uh, it was probably misunderstanding I'm like yeah it better be a mis uh, misunderstanding that never happens again cuz I didn't find that funny how can you embarrass my friend right in my room like how does that work I mean your boyfriend gets to sleep with her he's a guy I don't complain cuz I'm like girl you know girl code and stuff like that and she was just giving me all this bullshit talk and I'm like okay we're cool but this shouldn't happen again then I didn't know that this girl and her mama went behind my back her mother wrote a letter to the school telling the school that I am a threat to her daughter and that it's it's a, I'm a threat to her daughter's educational experience because I didn't know that her daughter, my roommate, was telling her mom all sorts of stuff, telling her mom that I bring black men into the house and into the room and stuff like that and making me sound so sinister, like I'm doing something crazy. And I'm like, what? You didn't tell your mom that your boyfriend comes over to sleep with you and stuff like that? You didn't tell your mom that? But you could tell your mom that, oh yeah, guys come to the room. No guy has ever stayed over in my room. I am very particular about that because we're both girls and I respect that. Do you know what I mean? Like, nothing like that. We just literally come chill and because she started getting uncomfortable, we started going to the common areas. So like, it was nothing crazy and she goes to tell her mom all that. So she probably painted a picture to her mom that I'm this crazy person and I'm gonna kill her or something like that. And the mom wrote, a detailed petition to the school saying that she doesn't want me to stay with her daughter anymore because I'm a threat to her daughter and I was like okay I didn't know I didn't know about this so I get the letter from the school saying that I should come for a meeting with the residence uh, manager and I'm like oh okay and I tell him like oh hey do you know like the school's calling me I don't know why like probably because we didn't sign the roommate whatever did they call you too she's like oh no they didn't maybe I haven't got my letter yet right I took my earring off. Can you imagine? That's how serious this is. Like, girl! <laughs> anyway, so like, she's like, oh no, I didn't get my letter. Yeah, that like, maybe it's in the mail or something. And maybe I'll go check. I'm like, okay. I'm like, oh, what should I wear? Do you think this is casual or whatever? She picked the outfit that I wore. 
she picked the outfit that I wore and she knew what was going down but she didn't tell me so I go to the residence life and they're like oh Zara we've gotten you know complaints from a parent that you are threatening their daughter's education and I'm like what do you mean by that and she's like your roommate has made several complaints that you bring people into the room and that you don't respect her privacy and all that kind of stuff and I was like what and then your girl goes local I'm like excuse me I had a amount to complain when her boyfriend was always coming over and like staying over doing whatever shit I gave them space in my own room to do whatever the heck they wanted to do she had her friends come over as well you think I didn't feel threatened like what is going on here and then when I started yelling and everything they started getting like really freaked out I'm like this is racism this is discrimination if you can't call me out because someone her mom was there she didn't need to be there too she didn't tell me her mom was coming her mom was a stranger as well how come her mom has the key to the room how does that how does that make sense I was really confused like, her mom could come into the room my friend was already sleeping I told her that my friend's gonna be there my friend I came in with her she was sleeping I left her sleeping and the roommate went as well I told my roommate like I'm sorry she's just gonna be here for a few minutes then I come back and we can leave to the common area and stuff like that she was sleeping she woke up my guest from her sleep how, what right did she have to be there as well and then they were like, oh, I'm sorry, calm down, calm down. I'm like, so what's gonna happen? I am gonna report this to the Ontario Human Rights Center and you guys are gonna rectify this. And they're like, oh, I'm, don't do that. We don't wanna get uh, courts involved and stuff like that. Don't worry, we're gonna settle this down. And then they bribed me and they said they'll give me a single room if I, you know, just calm down about it and not take it too deep and stuff like that. And I was like, I mean, I mean, like, I'm not opposed to that, you know? I, I don't mind that. I wanted a single room, I just didn't get it. So when they gave me the single room, I was like, okay, fine, I'll take the single room and stuff like that. And then I go back to my residence and I see this girl just acting like nothing happened. I was like, okay, I didn't say a word to her for like three days and she comes to tell me and she's like, um, is this about the letter that my mom wrote because, you know, I couldn't do anything about it. She just sent the letter and I'm like, I don't, I don't, you're not worth talking to. You are a hypocrite and a liar and there's nothing much I can say to you. And that was all I said to her and I packed my shit and I left. Only for me to hear like a couple weeks later from some of my friends that I made in the residence that this girl did that just so her boyfriend could move in. Basically, her boyfriend moved in, took my bed, right? And enrolled into McMaster University. And I was just like, wow wow you did all of that to get me kicked out wow you couldn't just tell me that this is what you wanted you couldn't just be clear at least show me that you're a hypocrite and a liar and a snake why did you have to act like my friend i mean that was it that's how I got kicked out of my residence by my racist roommate. And just to, just to be clear, she actually made a note and told me that I'm the first black friend she's ever had. First black girl she's actually had a relationship with, like actually talked to. Obviously she's probably talked to other black girls, but I was the first black girl that she's actually had a relationship with. And I was like, oh my God, special, blah, 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 blah. So she made that comment to me. And I'm like, mm, 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 you know. But anyways, I'm so glad that that disappointment turned into a blessing in my life. I got myself a single room, which I am so glad that I got, you know? And yeah, I'm cool. That's the story of how my racist roommate got me kicked out. If you guys like this story time and you guys wanna see more, please don't forget to thumbs this video up. If you guys have ideas or whatever about what you guys wanna see, and oh, oh, the accent, the accent. Yeah, I borrowed it from my American friend. I think like it really fitted this video so if you're confused this is my real voice <laughs> anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video today don't forget to hit the like button share this with your friends subscribe and i will see you in my next video baby Mwah.